Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to prevent a person on WhatsApp once they're a part of a group from making certain changes. If you created a group, it might be um, for work or it might be for um, school or something like that. And if you created a group, you may not want any and anybody to change the name of the group or the picture as they might decide to prank others, especially if you're dealing with teenagers or smaller children. All right. Um, especially if you're using the WhatsApp for school. So just go ahead, guys, and follow along. I'll show you how to prevent anybody from making changes except those you want to or those who are responsible as a part of a group. Go ahead and launch um, WhatsApp. Once you're in um, WhatsApp, go ahead and find your group. As you can see here, this is my group. This is a test group. Go ahead. In order to access um, the group information, click on Home. Uh, so that's the name of the group at the top of the screen. You'll be here in the control center. Of course, in order to control who can make changes, go to group settings here. And of course, um, go ahead, guys. And in terms of um, send messages, you can leave that as is, meaning anybody can send messages in a group. Of course, from here, you're going to go ahead and um, where it says edit group information. This is basically who can, um, for example, change the name of the group, change the picture or do certain um, descriptive information about the group or anything in terms of controlling and changing major functions in the group. So go ahead and hit edit information. By default, you should always do this. It was set to, by default, it's set like this. But of course, it's a good idea once you create a new group to come in here and change it to only admins. So I've, I've changed mine by the, um, from the default to only admin, meaning only administrator, which would be the person who created the group, in that case, which is me, can make major changes. All right, so I've done that. Um, in case you want to set somebody else as an admin other than you, go ahead and hit edit here. Set, I've already set this person. So it was off like this. All I did was that, and it's done. And now that person is now an admin. So the two persons who can make changes to the group would be me, the creator, and of course, this other person who have um, given um, admin rights. And of course, if there are multiple other persons, you can probably have two admins in the group or more. And of course, um, accordingly, those persons will be able to make changes to the name of the group or so on. So if kids are in the group, like a school group, you'll find that they won't be able to make changes as long as they are not admins. All right, which should prevent some of the mischiefs they might um, try to do, like such as change the group name and so on. All right. So basically, that sums up everything, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Sir Carter Gardner from Block Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye guys.